Okay, I was not expecting the person coming in the opposite direction. I think it should be fine. I mean, hopefully it's not a cop. <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing for some reason. Like, I cannot get... My, my hands are like... But I've got like... I'm seriously scared to take these bracelets off because... Boy, my energy has been cray cray. Woo! It's like, is there another? But that place is full of serious, serious energy. Like, really. Well, I believe. Woo, popping off like crazy. I think this place is pretty much old. I do know for a fact on that. Uh, Have y'all tapped the screen too? Huh? And give him like likes, then his live will show up on everybody's FYP. That's another thing that I have learned. Uh, actually, Nessie's man taught me that. He gave me like 72,000 likes. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> in one of my videos. Yeah. I know those. So, it's how that, I, in, I didn't even know that, but yeah. But yeah, uh, more, I don't know if you, I know you can't really see much over this direction, but this is more of the extended uh, version of the, of the field. And they're actually starting to put more trees in, but um. The strangest thing I always thought was is this section over here is like covered in uh, in tr uh, trees. For some reason, this like has all bunch of I think pine trees. I think it is. Usually, actually, when I pull in, I pull in right in the right in the middle of it all. But this time, I had to wait for that car to go by, and I didn't want to take a chance of them seeing me turning into the cemetery. You know, there's not really much hours for the cemetery in the first place. You know what's actually kind of funny was is those little uh, lights that people like to put with their uh, tombstones of their loved ones. My yeah. dad, uh, my dad's told me one the first time he ever saw one of those, he actually kind of flipped out because he wasn't hundred percent sure what that was. I was like, I don't know either. And then as you as time went by, they they start showing it more and more in cemeteries where people are just starting to put lights in the cemeteries. Like, well, I guess it's I'm not sure what's the purpose of it for besides the easily finding their it makes it unique. I don't get that either. And I know I'm going to be cremated. I'm, I just take me back to from whence I came. Take me back to dust. Right. I'm going to kind of go on low setting so it's not. Is it maybe? And here's uh, this is actual. Well, darn. Can't you actually see with, the, with that low setting? Uh, anyway, this is what these are mostly the trees that are surrounding this cemetery, which really makes this area lightless and makes it hard to see anything in this cemetery because of uh, the lights being off. Now, that's always the other thing I always kind of wonder about cemeteries sometimes is like which direction is this a safe side to walk on because you don't want to ever uh, offend, yeah, offend them and. Other than walking on the path that's already been pre-made, uh, and hope that, that the pre-made path wasn't accidentally uh, accidentally made in the wrong spot too, because <laughs> I mean I could see that being a a, a thing too. Oh, actually, that's another thing I've always thought too. It's like I, well, I think if as long as you're just respectful and you just walk, they don't have like is there like. There's no, they don't have sidewalks there. You don't have a walk in that this cemetery. Right here, they have these, which is a dirt path. Uh, but uh, in between the tombstones and all that stuff, I don't see, like, like I'm saying, walking wise, in between the tombstones, I don't know, like, which side I should walk on. That's uh, proper. Because I mean, growing up, my oh wow, uh, my dad, yeah, that. My dad would tell me not to walk a certain section because it's disrespectful. And I mean, I, I get that point, but I actually just, you know, trying to figure out which side is the proper. Ooh, it's nice and chilly in this area. You can actually feel a cool breeze and everything. Oh, you got some energy there. Yeah, you got some energy there. I was going to say, yeah, that one you just walked by was, was yeah, that right there. But this one here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like because yeah, there's some. Yeah. Uh, I think I've seen something that's older than 19, like instead of 1911, there's something a lot more older. Because I know checking the, like I said, the sky view picture of the company place and this cemetery was included. I seen it where this 
that ex- ex- uh, expanded part over that direction was not existing, non-existent. And it was just this section from here, from the corner to pretty much corner in a way. I did thought it was kind of strange that they put a business right over here, uh, so close to the cemetery. I th- that's always, I was always wondering. Well, about I bet that. they get a lot of activity during storms. I bet. Yeah, they do. I was trying to see if I could find something that's older than 1911. <laughs> uh, wait, here we go. Did you bring gifts? No, I didn't think about that. Uh, we got. Yeah, one. I always bring like candy or something like that. I found one that's like 1857 to 1902. Uh, wow, of an uh, kind of like a predate one. Yeah, it's also right near the road too. So anybody can actually uh, drive past the cemetery quite often. I just I'm turning off my light often because I don't want to freak out the drivers. Because I know some people when they drive. I know you're fine. Some people when they drive, I know their focus is more on the road than anything, and they don't do a like right. or what I do where I look everywhere. Because I mean I've had it where when I've driven the way I take to go home, uh, I've had it where I found a person walking along the road and it scared the crap out of me. What the weird thing was, it was a female that was walking down the road. Well, she was standing more than anything, and she scared the crap out of me when I saw her. But yet, about, I say roughly about a month or so later, I see a dude walking down the, uh, the same road, and he didn't scare the crap out of me. And the dark's like, why did the female scare me, but the dude does not? Uh, well, because some women, I mean, I just have one name for you, Eileen Warnos. I mean, you know, you know, there you go. How about that? Right. Or, yeah, you know. And, hello, demons take off forms. Don't forget that. True. And demons this, are liars. And this person, she was home. Uh, she found out she was homeless and... Uh, Probably schizophrenic. But the weird thing was, uh, whenever... Because I, I, at the time, I, uh, our local PD, I didn't know if the station was open or not because they it's a small town. I didn't know exactly what to... I didn't want to just leave her stranded somewhere in town. And of course, somebody suggested, well, maybe just in case, take her to the ER and just in case, if, cause you never know, cause also, you know, being out there in the middle of, middle of two towns and stuff like that, make sure she's okay. Well, they end up calling, they didn't really check on her, but they end up calling the cops. And she said that she was with somebody else, uh, didn't really go into much detail of why she left or she just didn't feel comfortable, I guess, more than anything. And she was trying to head back to a bigger city that's uh, nearby, but she had no way to get back because she had no vehicle. And I was like, well, how the hell did you get way out here in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> you out here in the middle of the sticks? Is there a, is there a child near there or um, uh, young? There's a young something. There is young. Possibly. You have a young, someone that passed young. Uh, there's a young spirit there. And then there's a, okay, so someone young is there. There is a, um, Steve, what's your name? Come on. Are you seeing Claire? I'm seeing mostly more the last names than anything uh, on the back of these tombstones. And that's the other thing I've always wondered is like, are they uh, buried behind where the words are written or are they in front of the words that are written for their first and last name? I've always wondered. It, it's uh, last name first and then, uh, well, I'm then saying, the like, first, if, uh, if, if, especially uh, if it's older. I'm mostly meaning the direction of the tombstone is like, are they in front of the tombstone where the words are at or are they behind it where is where they're at? Oh, they're buried in front of the tombstone. Okay, so those those times yeah. you, go, you go and visit their tombstone and reading uh, visiting their tombstone, you pretty much could be standing on their caskets. Then, yes, you are. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's why we you walk like alongside or like right behind the the, the tombstone. Okay. And if you're you want to read it, you just walk like alongside the tombstone. I think these are carpenter ants. And then you would walk around down the edge, and then walk down six feet. And then go down six feet. Make sure you stay six feet down and then walk down and you won't. 
supposedly they say that, but most some, some cemeteries. Um, okay, so I got a Claire. I hear a Claire. Uh, there's a, a, a Rebecca. Hmm. Uh, I have no Rebecca. I'm actually interested with this tombstone. Man. This tombstone here. His name. Uh, they say 1984, and it looks still kind of like kind of newish, which is quite interesting. Same thing, kind of like this one, a little bit. It has a memory verse. It says son and brother on it. Uh, name wise, I can't. Uh, it's not anything you said yet. I wonder. Uh, think this section will be safe to walk. I'm sorry. I'm not. My eyes are closed. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm trying to read the energy that I pick up. Um. Where are you at? I'm um, right now. Oh, uh, let me see. I can't see what you're seeing. I'm staring. You're looking down. Let me see the area. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. If it's okay, so you walk. You you walk six feet out. So you read the tombstone, and then walk six feet out from the tombstone like right there's the tombstone right. so you go six feet out from that because the casket is six feet out from that tombstone so like here so or right where that tombstone is it's out that way no to your left yep six feet out from that yeah this is my left actually right here because actually this looks yeah okay so i can see that the grass is kind of differently like you know yeah six feet out from that to your left is where the body is and then you would just go on to the next one Right. And of course, I realized yeah. they have somebody buried so close to each other. You kind of wondered about that. Too. Oh, yeah, they do. They bury them on top of each other. Like so close. Huh. Someone actually left Pedia yeah. with another tombstone. Well, I'm sure they're probably because they live there. Would you no. maybe think? There's no, uh, well, there's no, uh, there's no, like, no. Uh, Seriously, somebody left Pedia Light at a grave? Yeah, there, um, right there. I think that's Peter Light right there. Oh, they really. Oh well, that's a gift. They gifted them Peter Light. It could be where a, for a graveyard dirt. It could be a child. It could be right there. Well, graveyard dirt. Let's go see. Walk uh, out six feet. Walk around the grave. Let's go see if this it's way? a child. It's about here. Uh, yeah. Either way. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's see, 1932 to 2010. That looks like an adult. This one looks like they're still alive. Okay. So it's a, no, it's not actually Peter Light. It's actually white cranberry strawberry uh, juice. So it looks like they gift them a... Okay, so they, see, they gifted that for graveyard dirt. So see, that's what you do. When, you, when you're visiting the dead you, mm -hmm. and they're leaving them gifts... Or that you can tell them a story, or you can visit with them. Like we're visiting with them now, right? Uh, you can speak with them, and you know, read a book, read some poetry, and then um, you're you're commuting with the dead, and then you ask of them, "Can I take from you uh, that which I need, and in return, I'll give to you, I'll gift you, but I promise, I will return." Now, and if you, you promise to return, you have to return. And right. you take only the amount that you need, only enough for it to fill your pocket. And, and people don't understand that's all the graveyard dirt you need. Right. And you take from the top around the tombstone, nowhere else. You don't disturb the grave and be rude and ignorant. You just pull a little grass up from around the tombstone, clean around the tombstone, Take a little dirt, enough to fill the pocket, and that's all the graveyard dirt you need. You don't need to fill up a Ziploc baggie, uh, and you know that, you know. Right. People kill me with that stuff, digging holes over graves. See, like the way they've cleaned around that grave, the the tombstone there. Right. You clean like around the top, and and you leave those gifts, and like she just like she did, and she takes from around the top. So that's what they're doing. They're gifting and then taking graveyard dirt. Yeah. And, so and you make, it's called goofer dust and it removes hexes. I do know one thing for sure. It's always good to see a cemetery that's in decent condition and not, you know, where everything's, uh, 
looks like it's, it hasn't been taken care of in years or something like that. It's very clean. It's very well kept. Oh yeah. But there's a there's a lot of activity there. I mean that it's active. Right. So you you have witches in your area then. I do. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah, you have witchcraft going on in your area. If they're they're coming to take uh, graveyard dirt, yes. Yeah, absolutely, you have witches in your area. So the spots where... It is very nice. It's very well kept. So the spots here where there's nothing really grown back as much, is that just meaning it's just the ground just doesn't... Nothing wants to grow back? Or is that just common to find dirt? Yeah, it just, it just means that it's just the the earth it, it's it will not it won't come back hmm. unless it's like one of those things where i think it's a long 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 time because actually i think i've seen places where they have overgrown uh cemeteries too where they never kept up at all yeah sometimes too they just need to turn the soil right and a lot of times they just don't that looks how old is that uh 1891 looks like the oldest on this yeah that that's an old one, uh, but it looks like that's, they haven't been visited in a really long time. Now, see, like if I were going to a cemetery, that's the type of grave I would visit. That would be beneficial. I would visit. I visit the older part of of a cemetery, like the older, older. That's what I'm saying. This actually, I believe this uh, section is because the fact this was the uh, original, according to the picture. When I finally did look it, uh, into it, because uh, like over there, there's a tombstone right there. That's 19, uh, oh not 18, but 1840. I mean not 19, but 1840. That's an old one itself. Wow. 1840 to uh, 1925. Look at those headstones. They're beautiful. Right, and I've noticed actually the thing about this is that sometimes this this is not exactly all family. They're just just like random people just buried in places too. Because I know that sometimes some of the cemeteries where they have the family, like ancestors and stuff like that, all uh, together and uh, all together. But these are just like all random. You know how much tombstones like that cost today? I don't know, and I probably. I mean, never really. Did. Oh, dude, you would cry seriously. Look at how close that is. Look how close. Yeah, that's what I was like, like noticing. That's kind of strange. I think it disturbed a bird. <laughs> <laughs> that has nothing on the back but that's kind of strange that the, whoa running out of light <laughs> the power is starting to get low on these i'm certain you've got energy like all around you i don't know if you feel that or not but it's been like following you it's since you walked cool. into the it's been chair. cool the entire time yeah I'm sitting here actually because it wasn't cool yeah from since you walked in it's been with you Ever because uh, anywhere else part of the place doesn't have coolness, and that's actually kind of the interesting. Last name's different here because it's nineteen twenty three. Last name's different here and here, but this, and this one is just, and it doesn't even have a first name. It doesn't even have a date on it or anything. It just has Perkins as last name. Perkins, but none of these people behind it are are them family. Yeah, that's not even unless. Well, the, see, very well behind those people behind it could very well be family, though. Possibly because see, back in the day, that's what they would have done is put family together. Not necessarily, you know, it could have been a uh, sister, or you know what I'm saying. You, you get what I mean, right? Like if if that was him, and then his he went by Perkins, that was his name, and then his sisters passed. Then they, and he buried them behind him, or mother and sister, or, you know, because back in the day, that's what they went by was just their last name. Right. What's up, Zippy? We're just chilling in here with Agent Reaper at the cemetery, visiting, paying our our homage to the to the deceased. So you're actually collecting some uh, graveyard dirt so we can make some goofer dust. So they actually got a shared chat, pretty much then. Yeah, we're we're doing. It's like, well, I'm not. I'm not on live. All my people from my lives are coming into your live. Right. You guys, uh, tap tap at screen, guys. Give me some likes so we can get them on everybody's FYP page. Just just hit him in the or don't hit him in the face or hit me in the face or, or 
hit him in the face or hit a tombstone or something. Just hit his thingy. Hit a office. Hit the office page if y'all still see that because this was up on my page. But my phone is old and antiquated. <laughs> but give him some likes. Give him some love. Up there when hey Ness, break out uh, Z's uh, secret weapon. Yeah. Um, I look. I, I've been beating that thing to death. I only got two hundred and something likes. I'm telling you, my fingers this, are. I think this is hard. a walking path because it looks like it's kind of worn down and might be a walking path. Not hundred percent sure, but I mean, it's where the words are at, and I can. Okay, looks like okay. Wait. You know what? That thing is. That place is so messed up. Because there, it can't be a walking path, babe. You got headstones. Well, yeah. Well, no. No, probably I, not. You know what? I can't tell you. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I this look, I can't. I'm it gonna... looks like that's where people are walking, though. Right. Well, and then the other thing is, is actually I'm kind of wondering is like, because there's, since there's like some ones that are like 2009, did they like remove some people and moved them or something? Or they did just, what did they do for burial wise? You know what? I would look it up. I would seriously. Look that up, but they would remove the they would remove the uh, the tombstone. Oh, my energy's starting to surge, so I, I really don't want to. I don't want to pop off activity around you because you're by yourself. Right. Okay, but okay. So if you start to feel tugging and pulling, you might want to get out of there. Right. I mean. Okay, I, but yeah, my energy gonna, is my I, energy is going to push. I have had a, a cemetery where I felt like something grabbed my arm one point. Okay, well, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna push a little bit of energy. Just see if we can. Yeah, I was see we can, see what, what this one can. says. It says something about Oklahoma, and I think something about Motor Train Corps. Oh, World War One. I. I think they were part of the. Yeah, war. I was war. Yeah, there's. I, yeah, I, I seen that. Should have seen that. <laughs> They're a veteran from. Yeah. 1917. Bless 18. World War. Wow. Veteran here. That was just gonna bless them. Thank you for your service. Right. But yeah, I like to. We salute you. And I salute you. Thank you. Over here, unless these, I don't know. Then you go. We do have the, and I do see that a lot of times in some cemeteries. You get this one where you get the memorial uh, for the military itself. To all oh the, yes, sir! I got that. And you got from 1861, to, and then the, and the latest on that was 1990. But that's just, I guess they haven't had any more vets, or they just never chipped it out for the yeah latest vets. So that's the oh, that's the old part of the cemetery. I believe so. Actually, you know, yeah. That so might... is is it still open? Is it still? Are they still functional? I... Oh, you got something right in front of you. Oh, just, just you just turned. What? What? Yeah, you just had. Well, it well it, it doesn't stand there and wait for you. Ah. But yeah. <laughs> um, if I go this direction here, where I where I have my vehicle parked at, because I still have it parked on the path. Um, I believe over here is where they have more of a newer uh, where it's a more uh, newer. Uh, Right, people that live in this town that probably have uh, put themselves in and stuff like that. But they even they even have it really close to each other. That's kind of a strange thing too, where their tombstones are close. I wish I could see that close up, because you got something right. Oh 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 oh! Wait 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 wait! What? Go back, back up. Okay, something just started across. Go back and watch this live again. When you, I will probably look at it later. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I actually, I'm kind of more focusing forward. Yeah, and you'll, you'll see. You'll see what I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got a lot of. Yeah, you got a lot of. Of. of oh yeah. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see what I'm. What I'm. <laughs> okay. Actually, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm kind of confused with this. <laughs> it is uh, 1944. I'm. I'm guessing that might be their deaths. But I don't see a birth date on it. Well, let's see. Born. Uh, oh, married, wow. So married in 1966. So this is their year they were born. But wait, that means they're still alive. I would assume. Why would you already get a tombstone if you're not dead yet? 
Say that again now, what? They are, I guess in these are their, they were married in 1966, but their birth dates are the only thing that are on these tombstones. Because they got 1944 apiece. They're both born. So they're still alive? They're, yeah. I'm assuming so. Because, yeah, one was born in October, one was born in September. So Caroline is the, a month older than Roger. Well, they're still living. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I thought it's kind of strange that some people will actually get tombstones that are before they're even uh, dead yet. I guess, wow. I well, guess, they have their final resting place all set up. I guess because they're having it where they're uh, getting close to it, maybe? Buried together. Yeah, buried together. I guess they're, they realize they're getting wow. close to their end or something. So some of these have people in them and some of them don't have people in them. Uh, this one actually, this is one of our, uh, this one actually has one person in there. The other one's still alive. Kind of sad one of things sometimes too. Especially like this one where they were born, uh, died in 2020. But That is strange, Jillian. Um, I don't see recent bury uh, the dirt being recent or anything like it. Maybe except for right there is where maybe the dirt was recently turned up. So I'm wow. assuming they're right there. Maybe I don't know. This cemetery is weird. really, yeah, very well, weird. There's like way, way over here where I'm walking towards now. There's like tombstones way out here in the middle of nowhere by themselves with nobody uh, here. Because you know, I got yeah. This is definitely. Well, and this is actually where I'm parked. Definitely in, here, and. Yeah, you got somebody here, and you got somebody here. Well, I think it may be two people there, or they got, or they got the same thing. Nope, they're actually, no, they're still alive. So this is not even a. This one's not. They're not even dead yet. They're getting. Wow. Pre- they're like prepared for it, I guess. Well, I mean, that's way to go. I mean, if you want to be put in the dirt, right. That's not for me. I'm not. But it, it is yeah. kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Burn me and tell me. It's interesting that they already have tombstones before they even are dead yet. They might, well, I, I understand buying the plots. That's the other thing, too, is a lot of people do that where they buy the plots ahead of time. But I don't want to ever think of you actually yeah. Yeah. tombstones already on them. I might mark the spot, but I didn't think you would actually put a tombstone before... Oh yeah, if you if you're if, no, they wouldn't buy. They wouldn't put the tombstone in because the ground's got to settle. They wouldn't put the tombstone up because they have to unearth. Unless they plan to move it before, the, before they dig. Yeah, I mean that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I got another one over here. You know, thing where they're uh, they're still alive, and thing, and actually, this area is not that it's not chilly. That's the thing. You got an area that's not chilling. And then we got this. This looks like it's getting ready for a tombstone, which means there's nobody here at all either. But yeah, this area has no cool area like the other ones. Like the when I was near those trees. Yeah, so there's no no spirits there. None yeah. at all. As far as I know of, yeah. What is this? Yeah, if there's if it's not cool, then there's no energy. There's no spirits. Right. There's something kind of strange I'm seeing over here. I'm not sure if it's a tombstone. Yeah. What it is? It's been with you. It's been with you since you walked, since you left. It's been walking around with you. Oh, there it is. Look, you see it? What? Where? Sorry, I'm was more focused. It 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 flicks off. It flicks off to the left. It'll it'll bleep off to the left. Huh. But yeah, there's another tombstone that's way out here, and yeah, they're still a. I believe they're still a. No, I would think they're dead. Wait, there's no birth date but this one might be where they're dead already but there's no birth date unless you're actually going to go ahead and start decorating your tombstone before you die which still makes no sense because yeah there's this looks like it might be a (gasps) child the child it's born it died on the day it was born yeah and some people don't actually want to put the put the date at the same time because i guess they were just born yet casey that would make sense. Wait, why did I not see it on the other side? I guess I wasn't really paying attention because I see... Yeah, I guess there's a long... Okay, so that's a baby. That's just... Bless, a, um, 
Oh, okay, Lord. The, this Jesus. area is pretty much. And I think that's the last one that's way out here in the middle of nowhere. That's the other thing is this one's completely alone. Hmm. That's, I, cause that's, that's rough. Because that's what... Uh, I couldn't imagine. I'm assuming they have this area alone because the fact that just to start a new spot, but it is weird. Very sporadic throughout the area. We are not supposed to bury our children. I'm sorry. As parents, we are not supposed to bury our babies. Well, it's also kind of sad if you lose your baby just as you get get your baby, too. Exactly. Yeah. You have babies? Yes, I actually have uh, three. I have Woo. I have two girls and uh, one boy. Oh, you did it. <laughs> yeah. How old's your oldest? Or how's your oldest to youngest? Um, I believe I'm trying to, there's sometimes I keep forgetting because <laughs> it's just like they're, they're, hey, I get it. They're, they're quite young uh, still, but they're, oh, they're young, but they're not young. But uh, I got the uh, oldest, I believe it's going to be eight here soon. She was born in 2013. So I, if I'm correct, that's, she's going to be eight. And the next one was born in 2015, and she's six. And my youngest one, he's uh, one. He just turned. Oh, he turned one in uh, in eight and yeah, April. He was born. He was he born started all over. He was Man. A, he was a he was a uh, he was the early he was the earliest of the kids because a doctor was so concerned with uh, with the eclampsia thing. Oh, preeclampsia, yeah, yeah. It, That's scary. Really uh, bad, uh, bad with uh, with my wife. Well, bless her, and I'm glad he's healthy, and I'm glad she's healthy. Yeah, it's just one of those things where the doctors and our, uh, well, the doctor is kind of concerned because he's not. He's taking a while to um, do things that normal babies do. You know, get at his age. Supposed to be already by they thinking that he should already be walking and all that stuff. He took forever to crawl and they um Oh Caleb was like that too. Let me tell you. And, and then once Caleb took off, it was over. Yeah. I mean he he's 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 slowly trying to learn to pull himself up, but I mean he he's now fine he's been crawling. It took him a little bit after he was after he turned one to start uh, officially crawling and stuff like that. But yeah, they kinda very concerned. Um they end up taking, having us, I mean, we're still, oh. ever so often, we take them to yeah. the, uh, to physical therapy because they're, like I said, they're concerned that he's too slow. It's like, it's not exactly what I'm no. worried about. <laughs> Ooh, that one looks Whatever. Good. Doctors kill me with that stuff. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't help a lot of times when uh, things get, and that looks like a child right there, actually, because it has cars. Yes, it is. And this one looks like it next to it, or maybe they like cars themselves. The ground looks kind of off, so I'm not. Well, I, I think right here in the middle should be fine. Let's see. Well, that's. I think that these cars just have to be here. Yes. Yeah. You got completely got cars all over this one, but then the Olsen cars kind of like, kind of came over here. Because, um, let's see, 2008, oh, this person's still alive. So, actually, this one doesn't have a last name. Wait, beloved husband, dad, papa, brother, and uncle. We weren't ready to say goodbye. Oh, so it's not a child. Oh, I should have figured that out because it's 1966 to 2017. Oh, and I'm by myself. <laughs> I didn't realize you uh, popped off on the... Off of there. Did it lose connection? I don't know what... Yeah, we did. Oh, that's weird. I'm telling you, the energy around you is crazy. It is absolutely nuts. I was gifting, and then all of a sudden, it went bloop. It was gone. Right. So it actually looks like this is an adult because they 
I don't know, I'm, I don't know how much you heard when I was talking before you lost connection. But I guess. Oh, it's all around you. Do you guys see all that? You see how his phone is? You see how it's fuzzy? Look. See how the see how it's really fuzzy? There's okay. It's good there. But then the phone it'll the energy goes really fuzzy. Hmm. See how the phone looks fuzzy? Okay. Yeah, I saw when it. the phone when you see the phone fuzzy, that's energy. That's a spirit. Wow. When you see fuzzy on the screen, right. that's that's a spirit. Yes. Okay. That's spirits. Okay. So, like, see? Hey, this is. And they'll run. You can. See, you'll see them move. Right. They're so like they're they'll dart across. Now, full body apparition will show like they'll show like their shirts, or you'll see like uh, an arm, or you'll see like two legs run walking but you may not see a top half of the body or you'll see the top half of the body and a head and one arm, but you won't see the legs or sometimes or, or that's a partial or sometimes you'll see full body. Right. Uh, <laughs> now, sometimes you'll just see this. Huh? Still an apparition. Yeah, you're, we're losing. Thanks. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <sighs> see Nin all around him Nin okay go ahead Nin oh, my fault. Nine to two, uh, 2021 how old is that I'm not very good with math hmm 39 <laughs> did you just say how old is his ass I was just kind of curious <laughs> Let's see. 39, <laughs> oh you're this is draining my phone so you really got serious Really? Like energy around you. Uh, yeah, you really, really do. Like it's, it's all around. I don't, do you feel it? Don't you feel that? Kind of. I mean, like I said, it, it, the temperature. Like something's is, following it, you or it, something's fo it's, following you. And mostly it's more temperature I'm, I, I, I pick up more than anything around here. Cause it's like, it fluctuates. Oh, I got chills. This person recently just died. Oh, well, it's. Oh, wow. They actually died on my birthday. Oh. They were 84. They died on their birthday? Yep. Okay, now look around that. Do you see that around this little marker? They Did you see my... that energy around the marker? No, I wasn't paying attention to the phone. I was looking more at the marker than the phone. Yep. But no, uh, they were they were born okay. in February. Well, it's, they uh, were born in February. That's but... all around there. But yeah, they were born in uh, February, and they just died on my birthday. Was what I'm saying. The year, the date, seven twenty four is uh, my birthday. I was born in wow. I was born in ninety. I think this is where the casket's at, because it looks like how the group. Yes, it is. So to count about six feet. Yes, about there. So I was going to check out this one here. It's just kind of backwards and confusing. And that's 2005. Okay. I would think actually more one of those things, if it was an old tombstone, majority of them are kind of standing up sometimes. You don't see very many old ones. Yeah, that looks like a, is that clergy? That looked like clergy. Um, it says Carl. And a U.S. Air Carl Leon. Korean. Korean. Oh, Air Force. Air Force. Yeah. It must be a veteran, but they don't have a veteran thing near them, which is weird. Because they're state Bless U them. Because it says U.S. Air Force on it, Korea. All right. Now, I went live. So okay. let's see if this keeps our connection. Okay. Listen, we're not dueling, doing anything like that. So I just wanted to. He's in a cemetery, guys, and the energy is crazy, crazy here. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just gonna see what we can, what we can see in here. And something's been following him around in here. I'm just gonna see if this will keep his the connection a little bit better. Yeah, my, uh, actually, my wife. Okay. Sure that when I leave, she said to make sure to tell them not to follow. I don't need. Uh, yeah. Bothering my. <laughs> yeah. Bothering we'll my. We'll say a prayer and all that good stuff. Yeah. Got an interesting tombstone here. Okay. Has a cross on it, but it doesn't look like there's any two of them. Well, yeah, there's two of them that has a cross on it, but no names on them. 
See, got that one and that one, but I'm not sure if they're actually tombstones or just markers. Okay, yeah, you got, you have something. Turn around, look behind you. Just stop. Right there. Just stop. Be still for one second. Turn around. Just completely turn around? Completely turn around. Backwards. Okay. Now be still. Just be completely still. Okay. 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 What are you? Come on. There you are. Come on. What are you? Let's see what you are. Who are you? Show me who you are. You're not a nice... Oh, you're not nice. You need to back off. You need to go back. Go back to where you were. Wait, me or the spirit? You need to go back. Me or the spirit? No, the spirit. Okay. Go back to where you came okay. from. Stop following him. He's not trying to do anybody any harm. You need he's not going to hurt anybody. You need you need to you need to go back. Back away from him. He's not he's not going to hurt anybody. He's not trying to disturb anyone. It's a it's a dominant to female dominant energy. Really? Oh, that's a really? nasty. Yes, very dominant right here. She, it's a red uh, hate, very vicious red, she's pissed off. Ooh. Oh, there she's Ooh. gone. Okay, she just there. Oh, she's still a little mad. He's not going to hurt anybody. He's not going to disturb any graves. He's not going to take anything I'm hoping from I'm, anybody. Well, I'm hoping I'm not. Still. He's not. Well, I'm hoping I'm not. Still. He's yeah, not going to cause any harm. Okay, we I'm have a couple that are listening. Just let them hear. You tell them I'm not going to take anything. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to. I'm not going to yeah, disturb gonna anyone's resting place. I don't wish. I'm. Not, he doesn't want. He's not asking anything of anyone. No graveyard dirt. He doesn't. He's not stealing spirits. He's not casting anything. No witchcraft. Nothing will be done in this graveyard. Go back. It's okay. We assure you, yeah. you can you can back yeah. off. It's it's fine. Do you see the three spirits in my hand? They're backing off. It's fine. Yeah, I think so actually. He's fine. Yeah, I think so actually. Just relax. Just breathe. Okay, it's fine. He's fine. He wishes do you no harm. This is a man of God. We're just walking through, just visiting, paying our respects to fallen comrades. That's all. Okay, now she's backing off. That's three females. One, two, three. Now we went from red to a blue energy. They're fading back. Okay, now that. It's not a threatening energy. They are still watching. They're letting you know there's four females. Do you see those four faces in my hands? Looks and they're letting you know that they are dominant energies of that graveyard. See those four faces there? Those are the four watchers of that graveyard. They are there. They're letting you know they are there. Yeah. They're watching you. Okay. So they're behind you and they're telling you, we are behind you. We see you. Hmm, interesting. Don't take anything off the grave. Yeah, I don't plan to. Okay, so he is, he has no intentions of causing harm. He is, we are just there. We're just paying respects. So just be respectful to the graves. They'll be respectful to you. We have every intent of being respectful. Thank you. Okay, now turn back around. Be watchful of where you walk, and let's let's continue. We'll be fine. Okay, we're good. Okay. 
that was that weird freaky puke feeling I, that's why I, the only reason i went live sorry but it kept making me feel like i was going to throw up oh so you have to have yeah change it a little bit yeah it, it just yeah i just don't because you can take things home and right um Especially if you make them mad and they think that you're you're gonna cause harm or you're you know because people do kick tombstones over they they come in and destroy graveyards a lot, you know and, and people think that uh, people that have transitioned don't get angry yes they do get angry I don't know why people would think that spirits don't get angry they do attach they will cause you harm I do, you know hello yes they will people you think this stuff that you see is uh, and the paranormal is not real. It is real. Oh yeah. You. Uh, it's ridiculous that I don't even know. I don't even. I'm not even going to get into all that. But yeah, the people like us are are in this, in the paranormal field. Yeah, for a reason. Yeah. This one. So yeah, but you should listen. Always say a prayer before you leave, and always thank them. And. and gift if you're going to if you're going to touch a tombstone walk up to a tombstone thank them okay so what about this what about this tombstone okay so we got this big one right here in the middle it's an old very old one but i've also noticed uh how it's kind of where this this got to be a, a good crowded area or i'm hoping it's not right here where i'm standing out on the on the road path where they put it through i'm not 100 percent sure Okay, the body would be six feet out from where the name is facing. Right. So let's walk to the side and just see what the name is. Yeah, I'm kind of and then say hello to whoever it is. I'm doing oh, that's a that's that's a tree. That's there now they used to use witches or bury witches under trees. So that's an interesting fact to well, know. There's like several trees in this cemetery. And they're all mm -hmm. they're all pine trees, I think. That's what mm -hmm. they considered them. But yeah, there's like several. Uh, yeah, they used to bury witches under trees because it was believed that um, that was the only thing that would um, keep us underground was a witch. Actually, it's called a stone. Put a stone on top of a witch and that's what we prefer. A, st a stone is an absolute promise from a witch. But would that mean that so stepping on a tree is not probably still uh, you know, around the tree? Not a good idea then, or it's what now? Because uh, I'm standing. Because that's the thing is what I'm doing is walking near the trees itself. To kind of like that's fine. Because then because I'm staying in between the tombstones. Because I thought maybe if I stay near the trees, I'm not actually stepping in the burial grounds as best as, as bad as. Um, you're you're fine. You're you're fine. The the energy's blue. You're not you're not red. They're 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 fine. I don't I feel fine. I'm not okay. nauseous. I'm not anything. It's just like if you if you walk up to a tombstone, just and you touch or you're just say hello and say hello like if you're reading their information say you know like hello margaret or hello william um you know and read their information and you know just greet them right you know like you would like if you were coming to my house say you know hello shannon you know hello margaret hello william you know that's just greet them that's it so guys listen my live is not about my live my live is just about his live i'm just so go into his live so I'm just here for his life, not my life. I want to. Cause... Oh, guys, this is Agent Reaper. So we're just chilling in the graveyard. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not even live. Oh, actually, I yeah. And then I'll get closer to that one. With that, I think that's a gravestone or it's a marker. Because I know there looks like there's some spots where they got. I keep disturbing. Oh wow, that's. Is this the old part? Are we still? Are we still? Yeah, we're still in the old part, right? Yeah, because. He... Okay, now remember six feet back. Yeah, six feet back. Well, I'm still, I'm, okay. I'm kind of, well, I guess I'm kind of, I'm in, I was, cause I was in between the tombstones and the, and the, and the driving path. Okay. And also there was this like one random tombstone kind of in the middle between these two trees. Uh, yeah. You can probably see it right there actually. They've done something. They've moved, <clears throat> they've moved bodies or something. Yeah. They're not warning. They're just still, they're just still kind of there. They're, they're not really. 
Oh, well, no. This one here. Okay, so, okay. This looks like it looks like a child. This That's probably why it's like a strange. Okay, so who is this? It, who is this? Frederick Ace. Frederick Ace. He, Hello, Frederick. He looks like he only lasted for he like he only lasted eight days, eight or six days. I don't know. August. Oh, that precious angel went straight home. That precious angel went straight back to God. Yeah, he didn't get a chance of experience or as much. That's all right. He went. He was here for what he was meant to be. He went straight back. Oh yeah. Well, God called him home. Yeah, it was 1932 when he was here. Oh. Um, bless him 1932 wow yeah and then you got some nearby there 19 uh where they when they die uh oh wait these might be more kids actually uh we're in the kid part i this yeah. is the saddest I, I, uh, that's probably why they were following you actually is we're in the kid part of the the cemetery more than likely because yeah we got here we got march to may of ni uh, 1909 we got august oh same day pretty much mary is the who was here she was shortly lived um this one's actually a, yeah we're in the that's a yeah but uh, yeah i guess apparently there's uh three no, yeah, three uh, children right here. That's probably why this why this area is kind of strangely uh, buried. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, bless them. Wonder how old that one is. He's got a small one over here. Uh, it looks like it. Oh, it's wait. I think it's 1904. Oh, big. Uh, to actually, I think this is another child. It's old. It's hard to. It's hard to oh wow, that's a child. I think so. Uh, Short-lived child because I can't really. It's yeah. It's okay. Yeah, 1904 to 1904. Same. It's just uh, four days. They were alive for four days. Oh, bless them. Probably one of those things, you know, since back, since it's that, uh, that time, it's probably when they were not going to survive the a disease or something. Okay, we're just saying hello. That's all. Hello. We're just paying respects. But that's like the, uh, okay, so we're still the smallest one I've seen like that. Usually I want to see those ones that are usually older than that. Okay, they're still with you. They're still behind you. <laughs> we got 1852 to 1923. This is an old one. I can't really... Oh, it looks like uh, William. Yeah. And we got another one right next to it. I can't really read because it's. I'm not... Well, I wonder... Hey, this is... Calm I, down, lady. This, this might be the original part one of the part of the original original because this actually has a strange border around it or it might used to have a fence but i think it might be safe to step on this yeah it's a walker okay so we got wait two williams yeah we got william here and we got a william over here I think they're both the same last name. Yeah. So what do they try okay, so is, and then try it again? This is <laughs> senior. And I think this is junior. Because it, well, it does have junior on it. Ah. Uh. So, you know, father and son, I guess, just got buried in the same spot next to each other. Hey, this is actually their family plot, actually. Whoa. That's why there's a border around this one. This is a family plot. That explains a lot. Because yes. I, yes. this might that makes be, sense. This might be mother. The, 
Yeah, this would probably be mother here because it's 1872. Senior over here was 1852. That would roughly be a proper uh, time period in between. Wait. 1852. Yeah. Could you imagine 1852? Yeah, because the Jew wow. was born in 1906 and died in... Oh, he was short. He was short-lived, too. I mean, he had at least a few years, but he died in 1910. Yeah, Y'all can go ahead. Go ahead and his, his life. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm I'm not even... I'm, not, I'm just going to tell everybody I'm not even doing a live. I'm just here for him. So... Uh, that one actually where the child li only lived for maybe, a, uh, let's see, four years. And we got ants again. <laughs> the usual ants I keep finding on near tre these pine trees. But yeah, it looks like pretty much this is a Oh, I'm telling you, pine trees are insane for ants. Right. It's the sap. But it looks like nobody else was. I don't know if there was anybody else ever buried in in this plot because there's only three markers and the giant marker in, uh, in the middle. But the rest of the area is all uh, barricaded off with a um, little concrete uh, kind of like area. Wow, that's that's amazing. So and so the other part of the cemetery is is it newer is it updated is it uh I, I don't know i mean like i said uh some of it's old and some of it's new and it could be this people so there's no rhyme or anything to the cemetery it doesn't no. like make any sense at all uh, like i said there are sometimes where their families don't even look like they uh, match unless they are family by another way by you know change of last name or something like that where are you? What state are you in? Kansas. It's Kansas. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Who is this? Who is that? Who is that? Last name is Nader. I think, or Nader. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, they were uh, born. Uh, one was born in 1850. The other one was born in uh, 1865. Oh, that gives me a headache. I have a headache here. Yeah, that gives that have a headache there. I did not like in my presence. <laughs> I did not like in my presence. <laughs> no, that's that's like cancer of the brain. It's like oh brain cancer. Something uh -oh. with the brain. Yeah. But it looks like they lived a good kind of a good Yeah. Because you got um well, Albert he died. Sometimes you just get like they'll kind of tell you or like you get kind of ideas of how you know like the the end you know they kind of tell you you know how things happened you know like the end what they remember on earth from earth their last right you know of the living Was that right? not every believe me life uh crossing over is it, transitioning is is an amazing thing people are so afraid of transitioning I, I thought it was amazing it was the most it was my death was probably the greatest gift life ever gave me right huh that's interesting so we got yeah it was uh, another family uh, uh, close to that that big tombstone we were just looking at I found another one but they're like a little off I'm not sure if they're you know these other ones uh, near them are not even uh, unless they're related another, by another way, like you know, there was a, another version or something like that. But um, oh, wait, here's one that's they're way back there. Uh, you actually got two of them are actually. Oh well, to each other. This one and this one are actually because this is Esther. Uh, she was born in 1902 to 1980. Oh, 1980. That's recent. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this still could got be energy. this could be a uh, kind of like you know the original start out, and then it was uh, this could be like one of the children, maybe, and then the ones back here, which I can 
could be another you know could, we could have like you know great great grandparents you got grandparent and then you got uh, another child over here so you know you like three generations looks like possible so this is this is more recent Th actually, these are the latest you no know, these are actually look like they might be kids as well so this one here and this one here they both look like they were related could be related by parent by kids themselves because there's no well hold on see this is 1902 to 19 hey guys we're in the graveyard sorry uh actually if you all just jump in his live uh i'm just reading like energies that are like following him did you see the ladies that are on my hand they're kind of following him around they're like the guardians of the graveyard okay so these are okay so yeah they're older that which means that these could be the uh, of that graveyard that he's in and this so it kind of like it goes this way i believe and then it goes this way i think to the four ladies. Yeah, because that's eighteen ninety. Following him in this place. So yeah, it could be parents, kids, yeah. and then offspring from there too. But oddly, a way of having odd location and stuff like that. Because um, unless all three are all connected. By the same, I don't know. Because this one looks like they never had a. Uh, uh, I know sometimes they don't always bury their uh, partner with them, but uh, this one doesn't have a partner. But these two over here, they look like they actually had a partner. And uh, you have a female coming forward there. You got a female energy that's that's like with you. She's like this. Wait, these are. She's showing herself. Would uh, I don't wait? These look like they could be kids to next to each other. Actually, I'm not 100% sure because it's the names are looks like Marbell and Sydney. Well, Sydney could be a, a boy's name too, couldn't it? What is it? I think it's Sydney is the name. Would that would be considered a boy's name? Sydney S I D N E Y would be a boy, S Y D is a girl. Yeah, this looks like it would, like you said, the first one that sounds like it, it is that one. So that looks like it could be. Okay, we have a male, a female here, and then a male behind her. Do you guys see this? There's a female here, and then there's a male standing right behind her. So we have two spirits in my hand. See that there? So they're with him. They're not with me. They're with him. So they're around him now. Those two energies are with him now. Huh. So this energy here, this female energy here with the long hair, and then that male energy right there. They look young. Look like kiddos. So, She's got long hair. This is the female, and there's a male energy. Young kiddo energy. When I was trying to figure out exactly where this, uh, where my job is, for that section I was telling you, but showing you earlier, uh, it's going to be uh -huh. kind of fuzzy a bit, but... Um, there, right there, is where I'm kind of zooming in. Is exactly where that uh, that door that exits out to the how close it is, uh, how uh, where it's at exactly. It's kind of fuzzy because of like it's just too far out, and it's nighttime. But I think that yeah, that light to the right on my screen that has this light over here. But the light here is that's where that door is that came out of to where that section is. Yeah, something happened there. Something like really happened there. I'm telling you, I would. It was a shooting. Something, something happened in that place. I, w I wish we would have been able to. I should have gone live there. Right. But it, it was. It's the floor. I got the floor, and Jillian was saying the walls. But I'm telling, you, I got the floor. Yeah. Something. I mean, they didn't. It was like. And the really floor. Why they abandoned that area in the first place? See, they said they just up and left the entire area, roughly about ten years ago. Yeah. 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 Because that's because something happened there. Because uh, are you with the science channel? Yeah, I love. Him. He's but, amazing uh, guy. Besides the fact love that him. they said that the basement that where you saw that uh, apparition uh, in that in that stairwell, they said that that basement there uh, it had where the floors were uh, oozing brown sludge from the floors. 
And I'm yeah, I'm telling you, there's there's blood on that floor. Let's see who you got with you now. Show me who you with. Who's with you? Who's with him? Who's with him? Because I feel some energy. Ladies, are you still there? Yep, they're still there. Oh, not so much. Who else? Who else is with him? Who else? Who's with him? You can come through. Just come throw my hand. Just come throw my hand. Just show me your face. Yep, the ladies are still there. We have the four guardians of the graveyard. One, two, three, four. I wonder where they're. Wonder where they're. But they're not angry. I wonder where their stones are at. You wonder where what? The ones that you're talking about. I wonder where they're exactly buried at in the first place. Uh, there's no telling. They're older. Right. You can definitely tell. But they're very calm. They're not as red. When they were first following you, they were red. I mean, they're they're they were. They were heated, right? Because I, I kept. They were like I felt like it was almost like malevolent energy. Like they were hot, mad. That's why I said stop, turn around, because they were they were mad. So right now it's just the four ladies still hanging around with you. They're just kind of still following you. Now this one's arm has kind of it's kind of she's got her arm her hand kind of on this one's like neck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but one has outstretched her arm all the way over to this one over here. So they're kind of all embracing now, but they, they do move. Spirits will um, like show you different, um, I don't know, this is just how my divination works. This is how they, they, now do they speak to me? Of course they do, but this, this is a way that you can see them uh, through me. That's just my my way of showing you what I can see is through my hands or through my face or other parts of my body. But obviously, I'm not going to do that on Tic Tac. So also it's easier to show you on my hand. Trying to see if I can find <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to show you. Let me, you know, we'll, we'll use my hands. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Agent Reaper. You guys check him out. He's in uh, Cemetery and. Yeah, but he's got some spirits following him around, so I'm checking. Uh, uh, go check his live out. Okay. He's got some guardians of a cemetery following him around, so we're okay. Remember, we got to stay six feet back, right. and if we're reading a tombstone, we have to say hello. Right. I I did kind of say hello to this one. It was the uh, military uh, guy. He he in World War. Okay. We salute. What's his name? Uh. Uh, Graham, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. We salute you. Thank you for your service. Or no, that's not even... I certainly salute you. I don't even... I, I don't know. Oh, Orman? Orman, it looks like, maybe? Higgins? Last name is Higgins. I salute you, sir. Yeah, it's... Thank you for your service. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. I thought I did actually see a tombstone that was a lot older to this cemetery. But I haven't exactly remember exactly where it was. That place has been around for for a long, uh, long time. Oh yeah, I mean, I think it was. I definitely know it's here. Been here longer. As well, yeah, of course, the tombstones say it. Uh, yeah, they definitely were here probably long before that factory was ever uh, built. And it was long before that because I know because like when I seen the the oldest picture I've seen of the of the, of the uh, factory itself, the buildings over here were not even existing yet. That was another way to kind of predate the area. But I don't know exactly when that those buildings that are so close to the cemetery uh, when they were uh, built. Okay, looks like we got some kiddos trying to say hello again. <laughs> yeah, we got a little kid, got a little brown-headed little kiddo coming through. Another little much smaller child. Well, this one there, we really smaller kid. I don't know. These are just kids that are kind of around you energies. Right. These are just the energies that are like hanging around you now. That's what I'm showing everybody. So see, this is a smaller like kiddo energy. This is another 
energy that's around him. Well, we have Edwin, which that's is coming. was born in 1933 and died in 1964. So he seems like he was pretty wow. young. Last about roughly 30 years. That's pretty good. 30 years. Yeah. Especially in, born in the 30s. Is that what you said? Yeah, 19, yeah, 1933 and then 64. That's the Depression. Yeah. We got it. Born right in the Depression. Got an area that yeah. might have a tombstone, but I'm not 100% sure. It was just replaced by plant life. It's in Kansas, babe. The cemetery's in, in Kansas. You guys, go check out Agent Reaper. Go check out his live. Tap on his screen. Give him some likes. Get him on the uh, FYP page. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get him on everybody. FYP page. Oh, that's interesting. So this one... That, no, seriously. Like, go there and just beat the likes to death. Um, we actually have one where one of those uh, stones that have been seen that had a label on it. We got, actually got one that actually has a label on it for one. From it has a, a label on it instead of the an engraving? Well, I'm saying... Uh, I've Because you see where, it's, where it looks like a cross on that and then this? All the other ones I've seen yeah. didn't have anything on it at all it was just a blank and this one's the first one i've actually seen that actually has that on there oh wow you know what that usually means what suicide yeah a lot of the cemeteries wouldn't bury yeah there you go look there's there, some... it's been uh, labeled too yeah let's see what we get yeah, these, well, I mean, yeah, they actually got labeled, but yeah, they were, there was like at least, I think, three that I saw that wasn't uh, labeled at all. Because uh, oddly, they just. To ask a question, they un you receive, to ask questions, you receive answers. Do I ask questions? Oh, if I do divination, I ask. I mean, if I go into divination, I, I, I ask. I don't ask the living. I don't. I don't read the living because of free will. The living lie. I'm wondering if actually it's um, here. Uh, those that have transitioned have no reason. Why would they lie? This one's similar to that one. I mean, I have the spirit of discernment anyway. And it actually has its um, extra thing for it to tell me that was in as a veteran. I'm wondering if that other one that I saw, but it didn't have a stick. I'm wondering if it, either the stick was lost or what. Probably lost, yeah. There's another one. That or somebody stole it, That's you know, which is why the Guardians are following around, making sure people don't vandalize or steal from the graveyard, which is ridiculous. I don't know why people do that, too. Yeah, and then we go to one that actually has no it's marking at all. Blank concrete for you. Looks like Isn't it, it, sad? it actually looks like it had it. So that's just waiting. It, it looks like it actually has it. Look like it does. Like either someone broke it or stole it or or got damaged in a, in a storm or something, or somebody's getting ready to be planted, possibly. Yeah, yeah. They they've already bought the lot. That's what that is. They they bought the lot, but they're just not. They've not transitioned. Right. Well, good night, uh, Gil, uh, Gillian. So they go to uh, bed. Good night, Gillian. Yeah, she said she needs sleep. Well, the last time I saw, yeah, no turkey. Last yeah. time I saw, she said it was like four something in the morning when it, uh, she said to, uh, when where she was at, and that was I think roughly about yeah, it's two twenty one here. That was around eleven or so. Yeah, it's like it's I know it's like seven o'clock in the morning there now. She's in England, right? Yeah, it's, bless her. She stays up with us all night, all the time. I love Jillian. She's amazing. Yeah, and I know one thing for sure is like here it's only about one forty something in the uh, well one twenty one in the morning. I am a night person. I have <laughs> always been a night person. Jillian's amazing. Why it's yes, hard? It's hard for me to uh, go to sleep after I get off work because it's like I just can't. You gotta wind down. Yeah. So like this one, <laughs> I believe me, I get it. I this just, one, I was a night person. Makes sense of where uh, where they're buried at because usually I would think they just put this right on top. Right. Let's see. Not, uh, 1890 to 1962. This was George. Hi, George. This is Leanna. It was 19, I mean, 1898 and 1984. 
Hi, Leanna. That's why it's like a lot of times I get confused with the tombstones of which way they're buried and stuff like that. Because, in fact, you know, you got these ones where they actually have them directly behind it. And then you have others where they're just unknown. They didn't make no sense. Exactly. Oh, you've got some energy there now. Okay, come on. No, you show yourself. There she is. Okay. Yeah, be nice and don't be hateful. Uh, uh, he's not doing anything wrong. I might have actually, could have actually walked in the wrong spot. I don't know. Okay, there she is. She's got short brown hair. She's right here. Then, okay, yeah, she's kind of, she's kind of heated. He's not being disrespectful. He doesn't mean to be disrespectful. He's just checking out. We're just checking out the resting places of fallen comrades. Looking at an old cemetery. So We've already explained ourselves to the guardians. We mean you no know, disrespect. So we have this one. Oh, did I wake you? actually a replacement stone. Because <laughs> uh, it's 1920 and... Well, no. Yeah, that would make sense. These, these must be the kids. Because, yeah, this one here is 1937. No, wait. 20 is before... Or 30. I don't know. <laughs> I would keep getting them mixed up. These might be both kids. What does it say? Because she's still with you. Because I have Sandra... Oh, no, this is just one person. Sandra J. Ross This one is right one next to this one with an old uh, old metal plaque. And then we have right next to that is... Um, actually, the last names are, not, are different. It could be because the... I don't know. Last name's kind of different, which is kind of strange, too, because the married couple here, they have... One, I can't pronounce the last name, and then the other one is, like, I think is... Clarison, possibly, but it's Edith. Henry is the one that has the odd, I guess, the odd last name. And I guess they didn't want to change. They didn't want to change their life. Henry, or got remarried. Yeah, it could be is that too. Edith is the oldest. Well, hello, actually, of the of the group here. Well, yeah, is the oldest of the group. So this could be uh, Sandra. Could be Edith's child, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I would assume that, because I wouldn't think you would bury someone so close together unless you're like literally limited on space. But I want family. Yeah. Because yeah. these markers are like literally right next to each other. Here's a person that's literally buried. Right okay, we've got good. He died in 2015. But he's, that's kind of strange that he never got him an actual marker. I understand they might probably be one of those things expensive, yeah. probably for their family. Well, there are some circumstances, too, where they don't allow markers, you know, like uh, we were talking about earlier. Right. They'll allow like a flat tombstone with like a cross on it, and and literally some cemeteries won't even that they'll and that's they're getting better, but it's it's ridiculous. I'm wondering if he was actually cremated too. I don't. I'm getting like yeah picking up with that he might be cremated because I'm thinking like well they would have like don't they have like an urn thingy? Don't they just have like a Put them beside like family with just the urn. Uh, you, I, I've, I've seen people bury their urns actually too because uh, my uh, I had a, a, a kind of a step grandmother. Uh, she got cremated and they just actually buried her ashes in the ground, urn and all. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm. I'm going back to the ground. I don't have my ashes. Well, I'm gonna give, of course, my ashes to my sisters and stuff to make goofer dust, but. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Well, I- guys, go into his slide, and that's where nesting everybody is, I think. Because uh, actually, I think one of those things is with. Um, I think here. Uh, I think it's a lot of times. I think what isn't it? Cremation a lot more cheaper than actually burying it in a casket. Oh, it's re- yeah. I mean, if you've got if you're going to spend ten thousand dollars on a bed, for me, yeah, do that when I'm living. Don't do that when I'm croaked and dead and right. going to be worm food. I'm not going to be dosed with formaldehyde. I'm not. Even, they're not. They can't even remove my remains. I'm just going straight to burn. Yeah, I, as soon I, as I, this heart decides to croak, yeah, I'm eight hundred bucks. Burn me. I'm done. Well, you know, yeah, I don't have a barbecue. Have myself set up for um, for donation because I don't. I, I don't know. I've heard the story where they say you know the person is one time they've done that and where the person uh, I don't know how they know about it. I guess the person was conscious and they realized they were getting gutted pretty much. Oh no, they verify that you're dead. Well, like somehow I guess keeping the person alive because they when they okay but- the keep the org like I guess they maybe they were brain dead or something like that. I don't know. But somehow I heard that story where they are still were still alive, or their heart stopped and their brain wasn't dead. Yeah. Well, you know, once the heart stops beating, the brain lives for seven minutes. The brain is still alive seven minutes after the heart stops beating. Well, and I think of the people don't realize that. Well, I think you still have brain function for seven minutes. Right. Well, I think with the, yeah. to keep the organs fresh, they were trying to, you know, keep the heart going or something like that, which was kind of like keeping them alive before they remove their. Oh Lord Jesus! Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Once the heart stops beating, the brain is still functional for seven minutes. Right. Think about that, guys. Jeez. Think about that. And, that, yes. and that's one of those things that yeah. they are trying to force you to keep keep your body uh, active so your organs don't expire just to donate them. Yes. I yes, could, they do. I could see yes, they that do. be very disturbing in a way, you know, having it where there's a chance that you might be yeah. uh, alive again or you got brought back. Just the die, die at yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Way. Remove your organs. Oh, they will, they do put you on life support while they harvest. Yes, they do. And they harvest everything, everything they can harvest. Eyeballs, every single thing they can harvest, they take it all. Yeah, I find there's nothing there's nothing left to harvest. But you know what? If if I could if I could I was the organ donor. I was absolutely an organ donor. And then I, I have systemic lupus. And then my heart is just junk. So I, I'm i no longer on the donor list. But I would have given everything I had to save a life. Right. Of course, I'm not anymore. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what my own blood type is half the time. I, it's like every time I get thought I had an opportunity or it's like one of those things that I think they've told me, somehow I instantly forget it. I don't know why. <laughs> That's something you kind of want to know, babe. Yeah, I do want to know. You definitely want to know your but the weird, type. The weird thing is, it's like I don't know why, but I don't have a good memory of it or something like that, or I never got told, which is strange. Yeah, just ask your doctor. Your doctor knows your blood type. Well, I don't have an official doctor because I haven't had the insurance to have an official doctor. That's the bad thing about that. Oh, uh, does does your mom? Do you have? Does your mom not know? No, she does not actually. Oh, bless you. That's kind of a disadvantage. Yeah, she has no idea anymore because it's been so long since I've actually had a doctor's appointment too, as well. Oh well, then you're one of those really healthy people that are just never get sick. Well, last time I've ever uh, kind of had to go to the hospital was last year, actually, because of the fact of catching a ba- kind of a bad flu, and that actually conveniently was right before COVID too. And I got the flu from I got the flu and um you and they told me that then because that I had the same thing they told me oh it was in flu, lost it was, connection yeah it, it, you just it, had something it, right it, there it was a bee Woo. at that time that air change there yeah yeah you just had something major right there that was it just came came through on my hand and that was no joke right I mean I had to I had it where the air pressure just kind of changed a little bit. It felt like a breeze, but it wasn't. Yeah, it just like, literally took me off. It, and it was coming through on my hand, and it was red as 
I'll get out. That was that was no kind of play. Whatever that was was nothing. That was mad and ugly and yeah, it was coming through on my hand and kicked me off. It literally froze my connection. Oh wow! Wherever oh, that wow. just was, yeah, that was red and hot and ugly. That was an ugly energy. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. I think I found. A, Are you back around there? I think I found a. I found a really old one. I found a really. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Dang it. I thought I said eight. I said eight oh eight, but it's ninety eight. Never mind. Okay, we're back to the ladies. They're still hanging out with you. I kind of figured much. Yeah, I keep seeing ones that are saying yeah. either nineteen or eighteen more than anything. This is kind of a path, kind of, but. I have noticed that there is a kind of a repeating, more of a repeating is the last name coming. Okay, ladies, here, come on back. I want to see somebody else. You all keep popping. I'm wondering if that's actually like one of the bigger ones in the first place is if I have seen their more, their tune stones more than anything. Even, oh, and you're gone again. Come on. Lion. Ooh, I wonder if I'm in a bed. Okay, whatever that is, wherever you just just went, I'm going. To, I'm going to meet. Hold on, right there. That's the energy. That energy right there. That that's death in the place. Hold on, I'm going to meet you. That energy is. Uh, Wait, haven't I? I think, oh, it won't let me. I think it's that negative. Actually, I think I've been here already. Want when the data? Come on, it won't let my phone. I need to start hitting the. Yeah, I've already been there. It won't let me. Do that. That's heavy energy, like bad heavy. Yeah, I've already been in this. Oh, it's like I've yeah. The, almost the entire cemetery on this. I mean, this section over here. I haven't got over here yet to do a completely like a check. Fine. Um, and you keep. Have a good. It's like nothing to play with. Crap. Really? Seriously? Ooh. Why is the ground not grown back? That's weird. And probably meaning to move so it can get connection back. Because she keeps losing connection. I have good connection on my set, supposedly. I don't know how well it looks for the uh, audience. Yeah, she's... She got... Thing. All right. Is everyone still can still got a connection on my, on my side? I'm sorry if I haven't really been paying attention to the chat. I've been just kind of focusing on the... Um, on things, but... Okay, so I'm still here. Okay. It's interesting that for some reason that's not... Wasn't keeping her... It was like it was kicking her out. Very bizarre. Ooh. Looks like we might find somebody that actually doesn't have a... A year on it. Wouldn't it be weird if I found... They actually found the... Uh, the... The Guardians... Oh, let's see. That's his, that's father. Ooh, got chili. Okay, so we got Mother Grace, and then we got L uh, uh, L M S, and I got W R S. Oh, okay, so we got William Ruth. Uh, okay, they are nope. These are not very old. So. Because, yeah, that, okay, those are connected to those two. Those connected to those two. So, okay, that doesn't help much. Uh, Grace goes to that one. Marcus. But why is he has a different... He has Mox. Maybe his nickname name was Mox. But his, uh, his name is actually Marcus Michael. And I'm not 100% sure, sure what the last name is. We're right near the thing. Stone Reaper. What about it? Making that 
pole move. Got a lot of nice, kind of got, got a breeze going on here. Uh, uh, ooh, what's this? Why is there no... Okay, so we got one that actually doesn't look like it has a uh, label. That's interesting. We got one that doesn't have a, uh, has a label at all for if they're alive or dead or what. Ooh, I, okay. I know this is kind of a so-so thing, but I want to also. I haven't actually used this since I've been here. See if we can get anything. And eh, probably got low lighting, so we're probably not going to see anything on that. Okay, that's 19 something. Okay. Eighteen eighty-three. She cannot for some reason get connected back, which is weird. Are they Leave. Are you weird? Leave. What? Leave. Leave the cemetery? What? Leave. Okay. Leave. Yes. Okay. Apparently I must piss somebody off then. Apparently I must piss somebody off then. Wow, that kind of took a while. Yeah, I don't know what that energy is, wow, that but whatever that was, it, it, it's not good. Yeah, that was, that was not, that was not good. Hey, uh, fairy frequency. How beautiful angel. Yeah. Or let's go to a different part or something. Yeah, that part bad, 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 bad. Hey, weird. Well, because I was. Oh, how bad? Yeah. Weird. Look well, at that. I... That's not good. Really bad. Well, because I was like I was surveying the other part. Yeah. Of the like a... You what? I was just trying to survey the other part. I was because I was right. The... Why is it screwing up? I was over where that uh, area was, where that was honored, that thing I showed you earlier. I was over there. Yeah. By the tree? Uh, it was more near the entrance of the, of the first entrance of the cemetery. Was where I was. Oh, dude, that's bad. It was, that was bad. I kept, I told, uh, Abby to tell you to end the live, get out of there, because this thing popped up on my hand, this, it looked like a, I'm not even joking, it's like a red demon, like, entity, I thought, oh, shit, and I went, I died, I lost connection, I could, my phone wouldn't let me get back on live, weird. literally, it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't get back in my phone. Well, the weird thing was, I was still connected, I had a good connection the entire time. Yeah, but see... I see, I'm, I see what, like, in my hand, if you right. look at my hand, like, what is, what's around you? What is around him? Show me. What's, what's, what's around there? Show me your energy. What's, what's near him? What's following you? What's following him? What's near there? What spirit are you? What spirit are you? Nineteen thirty. Are you? What spirit are you? Nineteen. I can go on the night. we still got our four ladies. Okay, now we got another one that's coming through. Okay, we got four. Okay, see they still they keep kicking me off. That red one is still there though. Okay, that red one is is it's following you. You have a negative energy that's following you. Yes, uh -oh. it's it's following you. It's red. So I probably need to red is is. Very Yes, I would leave. I would leave. Yes. All right. Well, I mean, I've yeah, I would here. just. Leave. I've probably been here for a little too longer than normal, and I can Usually, when I visit, it's usually a short visit, and then I'm out. You know, something else that you would you could do too is, you know, how you like go to Kroger, 
and you buy like cheap flowers, right? Just like a dollar seventy nine thing of flowers. That's what I usually do, and I leave a flower for the women. Each each grave that I see for the women, I just put a single flower, and for the men, I leave a penny huh. on the tombstone. A penny on each tombstone for the men. I have plenty of pennies. For, for the women, I leave a flower. And for the men, I just leave a penny. Oh. That's a gift. You're gifting them. You're just showing, thank you for, you know, I'm paying respect. I'm, I'm just here to say hello. Just want to, you know, I'm just checking out the cemetery, the age of the cemetery. You know, just paying respect. But you are, you are being courteous of their resting place. They don't know you. You don't know them. It's just a matter of, of being respectful. Right. It's Why a penny? It's a gift. It's just a gift. It's better than candy. You don't want ants crawling all over their, their tombstone. Right. Penny is better than candy. Right. Yeah. And Somebody it, asked why. Thank goodness. So, yeah, I, but that was, this was amazing. I'm glad we went live. And do you want to pray before you go home? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Okay. All right, guys, y'all, everybody, anybody need prayer? Everybody good? Or why? It's just you, you always want a gift. Anytime you visit our, the deceased or anything like that, you, you just, you just want to, you want a gift, a simple flower, um, uh, read poetry or tell a story or just a coin. Okay. Let's pray. All right. Uh, in the name of the, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord, Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly uh, with gracious hearts and ask uh, that you bless us tonight. Lord, uh, we visited the, the resting place of people that have transitioned. We ask that their spirits uh, stay here where they have transitioned and that you guard, guide us and protect us, guard us, um, St. Michael, and uh, we give full permission for all of our uh, guardian angels, um, for St. Michael, and all of this, uh, all of our um, the uh, patron saints, and all guardian angels to intercede uh, for for us to protect us from all evil, and in Jesus Christ Most High's name, of course. We ask that you you be with each and every one of us through the re we weekend. Keep us safe. Thank you for the live. Thank you for bringing us together. Uh, keep us safe. Let us all rest tonight. Bring us good dreams. And this we ask in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We good? Everybody good? Nothing can follow you home if you do not allow it to follow you home. Nothing will follow you home.